There it is. How's it going, everyone? It's a wonderful Friday, and we're here playing more Pokemon, taking you guys on. We've got our Pokemon experts here. It's Callie and Jake. I'm not I'm not the Pokemon expert. Callie's the Pokemon expert. I, 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 I'm here for the ride, though. She, she's definitely like the Pokemon master, but I, I feel like you're you're definitely up in there as well. Like you're you guys both have a very good handle on Pokemon. And we're taking you guys on today. John Luke's gonna be here in a second. He's he's also switching while he's doing everything but here he is yeah everyone john is luke. john luke thank you uh but yeah let's uh let's let's get into this let's yeah let's do the thing i'm excited to to learn something about some real good competitive pokemon i mean we'll see how good i am when people battle me hey i'll uh, i'll learn it from you i'll learn it from them anyone who's good or bad nope, it's a good not. time hold on that's Sorry. not <laughs> what it is i'm trying to this is, this is, I'm figuring this thing out. It's okay. We've got new technology on deck. It's oh, no. always um, testing something new out. So one thing to keep in mind too, Jean-Luc, that I just remembered is when you're switching, you're going to have to switch what? When you're picking moves, right? Because no, I don't think that's necessary. I think there's enough of what? delay. That's okay. not right. <laughs> oh, God. What is going on? Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. All right. I'm going to... You guys... Yeah, well, we can, we can take... I'm going to go in the future. Yeah. Basically, uh, what we're going to do is I'll go um, to link battle, and then we'll put in the code uh, 0279, I think is what John Lucas put there. Um, and then I want to select like ranked battle rules and I'm using a rental team. Um, the rental team is by, I will talk about the rental team while we're fixing the display. Uh, Luke Amir PB on Twitter, um, who is a VGC player. Um, it's called goth control. So it features goth Hotel using, uh, the ability shadow tag, which, um, <coughs> Pokemon can't switch out unless they're ghost types. Um, and it also just features some of my favorite Pokemon. The team is Gothitelle, Durant, Melodic, Tyranitar, Arcanine, and Sylveon. So um, I'm very excited. I was uh, laddering with this team um, to mixed results because I'm still getting used to the team, but I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I will just go ahead and put in the link code for double battle, um, 0279 again. Yeah. And then I, I'm not going to bother switching out of the moves because I think there's enough of a delay and also I don't care. <laughs> we trust everyone. The honor system. Yeah. Uh, I am going to be monitoring the chat, by the way. Oh. Um, and then if there are uh, problems with um, 
connectivity or something. We might do some raids. I have a Toxtricity raid behind me. Gigantamax uh, Toxtricity. Yeah. yeah. Oh, then, I should get volume for you guys in here. Oh, yeah, because we can't hear the game. It's fun. Yeah, I don't I mean, think we need to hear it. It's jams, really, though. I know exactly what it's going to sound like. <laughs> I don't know. It, man, I don't even know where the remote went. It's right next to you. Oh, Oh, it's God. in the chair. Wow. Thank you, Callie. <laughs> Jeez, I'm on point today. Um, but oh uh, I could also just uh, be laddering. Um, I'm going to decide myself just because I forget what the rules are called. So I uh, I think we're going to do we go. ranked battle series. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I'll do Ranked Battle Series 2, so that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Ooh. So this is just going to be like the usual rules. I'm going to select Goth Control. That's what I'm going to do. I also have some other teams I might rotate to. Weezing Zep, which I really wanted to use Weezing. And then uh, Sage and Park's team um, from the uh, World Champion Invitational, I also have been using, but I struggle a lot against Charizard and Torkoal teams and hard Trick Room teams. So that's why I really like the Gothitelle team. Oh yeah. Thank you. The Goth Control always makes me think of, this is Goth Control to there make it go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Baby Yoda says, uh, nerd fest alert. Hey, you know what it is. I mean, okay. Thanks, Baby Yoda. <laughs> Can't argue. I thought argue. you were a cool guy, Baby Yoda. Uh, Errol says, hello, friends. Hello, Errol. Hi, Errol. Hey, how's it going? We're excited. Our first challenger, Edward. I like a lot of the Pokemon they've got lined up. Um, Brendan says, hello, GameSpot. Hope everyone's having a good Friday so far. It's hey, getting you there. You too, yeah. We'll see how... This goes. My, I think a big challenge for me is picking which Pokemon I want to bring. So. You got this. It's a, this is the first one of the day, too. That's a very good card. Very good. I like that effect. I had that on my last card. I updated to the curry card, though, because I like Japanese curry. Heck yes. <laughs> oh, ba Baby Yoda says they didn't mean it as, as a Aww. bad thing. Oh. Oh, thanks, Baby Yoda. Thanks, Baby Yoda. I'm sorry that I, I jumped to a conclusion. I'm glad that we're all here to be friends. Uh, Brennan says, great podcast, by the way. Thank there you. Yeah. Pretty much every Community Fridays, Brennan pops in to say, hey, yeah. I really like the podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we really appreciate it. So, yeah. No, please keep that coming. At least I appreciate it. I'm not here every week, but. I wonder what the Frost Lass's role is going to be. I like Frost Lass a lot. Isn't Frost Lass one of those Pokemon that's got like a pretty dark background? Or am I thinking of I think, a different Pokemon? No, I don't think so. By the way, if you're uh, fighting and you're in the chat, uh, say hi. Yeah, yeah let please us know. let us know unless I'm just matching with random people. But uh, I hope, Edward, that you're watching and that you're not um, maxing out your timer to see what moves I'm choosing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we operate on the honor system here at Community Fridays. So I just noticed that you've got your character has one of those Yakuza jackets on. Yeah. Uh, that's real good. I bet this is. Oh, cool. it's not focus sashed. Okay. Durant is probably one of the best attackers in the format. It is faster than Charizard. Its um, ability Hustle decreases its accuracy but increases its attack power. In Dynamax, um, the moves don't miss, so you get the attack bonus without the accuracy. Um, liability and then it also has a life orb which increases attack power power further and just chips away at the pokemon's hp it has really high defense and really low special defense so one of the moves is max quake um, which increases special defense on your side of the field so huh. um that's a pretty big one hmm. i would say you should name it durant durant there you go. That's oh, that's wow. the yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not mine. Oh. But um Well if you get one you should name you should. Durant then, Durant. Gothitelle is trapping the Pokemon in here, so I could switch out a Pokemon that could threaten Rillaboom, for example. Um and I used Max Steel Spike to increase defense, uh, <laughs> because Rillaboom is an attacker. Darren says podcast is dope. They also say, Oh my god, Pokemon math. I just press A. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of math. Um so this is interesting because you mostly don't see Seismitoad on a team that can't um, run rain, 
the only Pokemon in the Pokedex right now that has access to rain is, uh, as an ability, the Drizzle ability, is Pelipper. Um, so you often see Seismitoad with Pelipper. So I'm interested to see what this Seismitoad does. And then Gothitelle has Helping Hand, which just increases Durant's attack further. So Durant is just like one of those Pokemon that can get one hit KOs pretty easily. Oh, man. Um, although I wasn't expecting that because Seismitoad is a, typically a bulkier Pokemon. Oh. I'm a little scared. Sorry, I lost. Oh. I keep messing up here. Hold on. No. That's right. I did <laughs> so, the, all good. Let me just get to the. Yep. There okay. we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great at this. So grassy terrain is nice because it will um, heal. There we like go. I think it's an eighth of the HP, or no, a sixteenth of the HP um, per turn. I'm just gonna not look at that anymore. I keep messing it up. <laughs> Also, if you if you are watching this stream and you're really interested in competitive Pokemon, but you're kind of afraid where to start or how it's going to yeah. work, Callie and I are actually working on a video series right now uh, that goes over all of that stuff. And the first episode is done, and it's like eight minutes long, so it goes over all the stats in under eight minutes, which is or how stats work in under eight minutes, eight minutes, which is pretty impressive. But look for that end of the month because we're going to have I think three episodes right now that are going to roll out day after day, uh, and so far. The first one's very good. The script for the second one is coming along very well. Um, and there's numbers, too. Lots of numbers, right, in the second one? I'm trying, not a lot of numbers. No, but. not a lot of numbers. <laughs> I'm trying to reduce the amount of num the numbers. I, I try to make the stats explanation as beginner-friendly as possible, so it doesn't go into like the really hard math of how um, effort values work, which is a little simple. It's simple when you know how it works, but it's a little intimidating when you don't. Yeah. Uh, you I am really happy I did that actually really quickly. Um, Gothitelle would be weak to max darkness. I switched in Arcanine because Arcanine threatens both Rillaboom and Corviknight. And now that Seismitoad is out of the picture, I don't have to worry about Seismitoad um, knocking out Arcanine. Um, and max darkness did nothing to Arcanine with the Intimidate up. Anyway, sorry. Oh, uh, but yeah, that, that's a good call. That promo for that sweet video series for yeah. explaining competitive Pokemon. Look out for it. I'm definitely trying to make it as accessible as possible. Yeah, I mean, you watched it. John Luke, you watched the first episode. It made sense, right? It made sense to me. Also, a huge shout out to Jake for doing some really nice graphics of it, I think. I'm excited. It, it assists Thank how you. helpful it is. It's like, oh, okay, this is... Yeah, Jake's graphics are awesome, and there's some cool sound effects and stuff. But yeah, look for that. Be oh, cool. I was worried that was not going to hit. I'm glad that hit. That... Let me see how this goes. Corviknight's pretty bulky. Nope. Dang. So, Rock Slide, I was hoping if I didn't knock out Corviknight, would uh, cause Cor Corviknight to flinch. Um, Rillaboom can't flinch, flinch while it's Dynamaxed. Durant um, looks so tiny next to Arcanine. That's pretty small. <laughs> And to Rillaboom as well, of course. See, I like that you took the the smaller Pokemon and made it the made the, it big, the, the, the big yeah. boy. Well, now uh, you'll probably see it missing um, because so Durant's gonna move first, but it might miss because of the Hustle ability. So Arcanine is just good support. Oh, I, you probably already explained it because Dynamax you can't miss with you those mix, moves, so that that's miss, why. I yeah. See. So when you're using Durant. You kind of want to prioritize um, Dynamaxing it. Okay. That's interesting because last time we did this, which was when the game came out, we were both of us. You, I, we were trying to figure out how Dynamaxing would fit See, and a like miss on Iron Head. And like what the strategy around Dynamaxing would be, and it's kind of cool that there has been, like you know, more of that stuff has surfaced. I'm learning a lot more uh, the more I battle. Um, about ways to use Dynamax. You can use Dynamax defensively. Um, it Basically, the, the thing that Dynamax does is it increases HP pretty drastically. Uh, good game, Edward. Good um, stuff. Thanks, Edward. All right, if you're in the chat and you want to battle Cali, we have the code Zero below. two seven nine. I'm going to be taking league cards as well. I'm going to quit and give somebody else a chance to battle. Um, and again, I'm using 
I'm gonna keep forgetting the person's name. I'm gonna I'm using a rental team, um, which I think I can I can show off the code if you want to use this team. I can show that off later as well. Um, zero two seven nine. Um, but I'm really liking this team. It definitely fits my playstyle a lot better. You say it seems like there are a lot of good kind of layers to the strategy involved in how to use all the Pokemon in it. Yeah, I'm just like not. I'm not a hyper offense kind of person. Um, so I am going to say the person's name again. Lukamir PB, L-U-K-A-M-I-R-P-B on Twitter. This is their team. All right. Do you guys see the, so you know in, I forget where it is. Was it Turfield where you've, there's the giant Pokemon in the hill that you can see? Yes. Yeah. But did you about. see that it looks more like Gigantamax, uh, um, Toxicity more than anything else, and people are like, "Ooh, this is the this is that was the Pokemon over there." Like, yeah, because yeah, like if you look there. at if you compare the tail, it's like the same. It's got that weird antenna thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah you're right. Oops. So a lot of people are like, "What if this is the space Pokemon? It's <gasps> Toxicity all along." I Feral hope says that if gets my Pokemon expanded. Were actually trained, I would. You can rent teams, right? If you yeah, don't have so, trained. Um, I breed Pokemon. I really like breeding Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've rented this team just because I think it's best to get practice with a team that a really knowledgeable person has made before you start making your own team. Um, so, so you get a sense of the flow of battles. For me, it was really important in understanding the role of Dynamax in this format. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Errol says they also have a uh, Bolton named Barky Allen. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Uh, Brennan says the new studio setup looks awesome. Glad you guys can have more people on the stream. Yeah, yeah. it's a really good setup. I, I like having more people, and I also like how comfortable it's more the comfy. Couch is. It's a good couch. I don't mind that other stream room, but it gets hot in there. That's it does get really hot in there. Oof. Yeah. So we're just waiting on this person to 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 pick a team. I I imagine they might be. Um, individually selecting rather than having a pre-made team, which is what can take. Mm. Oh, okay. But that's fine. Um, but yeah, what, like I was saying, uh, Dynamax increases HP. That's the only thing it increases. And then the max moves um, have a higher uh, base damage. Um, so you can use it defensively to patch a Pokemon's HP, like um, Barrascuta is a Pokemon that has pretty low HP, but really high damage output. So if you Dynamaxed it, um, that increases its HP and, and kind of fixes that problem temporarily. That's a Pokemon you just, that's like a glass cannon that you just want to mm. like hit as hard as you can. So Durant is 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 not exactly the same, but um, I like Dynamaxing Di uh, Durant because I can just get those knockouts and then it served its purpose and then I can rotate in um, Arcanine and Sylveon to finish the job. Okay. So. Let's see. Oh, God, Charizard. <laughs> they, they heard you talking about yeah. it. They knew. Mm. Oh, God. Charizard really just... Oh, thanks for heading out, Darren. Yeah. Appreciate you checking in on the stream. Okay. Hope oh, you have Pedro. a good weekend, too. Welcome for the, the chat. Oh, man. I'm ready for the weekend, guys. I don't know about you. Big same. It's been a week. Mm. Are all of you seeing Sonic tomorrow? No. You guys aren't going? I am. Uh, I didn't think I'd be in town for it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so I said I couldn't go. Turns out I am, but that's okay. I don't need to see Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very excited for that, though. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> It'll be a thing. I'll see you there. <laughs> uh, but I got I to gotta pry myself away from uh, PSO2, though. That's the real issue. You were like, I'm going to try not to talk about yeah, PSO. Yeah, I walked right into it. I'm like, Sonic, Sega, Sega, <laughs> PSO, this weekend, plans. Ooh, I like that card. It's a very good card. Mm. Marcus says, hey, guys, love your podcast. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Uh, Speak Guy Crafts says, I want to fight next. You can fight next. Just get yourself ready. Yeah. We have the code we're going to use. And if um, we're just going by the honor system, so if you have, like, Oh, this, this Intimidate is going to help me so much. <laughs> uh, both of these are physical attackers. Um, yeah, uh, we're just like, you know, if you've already battled, please leave room for other people to battle. Mm -hmm. um, so on this Melodic, 
uh, Muddy Water is used as it's a spread move, and therefore it can hit an opposing Pokemon uh, with Gastrodon on the field. Gastrodon um, has the ability Storm Drain, which redirects water attacks normally. So if they're a single ta target water attack, um, it'll just go into Gastrodon. But if I wanted to hit Cinderace, I could do that with, oh God. He's gone. Um, I could do that with Muddy Water. So that I think is the, the reason Muddy Water is on this pick one. I like the idea of Cinderace just being like, I'm out, just leaps in the air. <laughs> um, Arcanine, I'm going to use Will-O-Wisp to further cripple. Wait, oh, was it fake-outed? What happened? I think it missed. Oh, it missed. Okay. This is what I get for not paying attention. Um, I'm going to do it again because I, I really want to cripple Komo's attack. Um, mm. Burns... I think they have attack. I don't know the exact calculation there, but paralysis have speed, so I think burn has attack. <laughs> it blows out the speakers. So my favorite is every time they get big, it blows out the speakers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the sound, the mixing is very interesting. So I'm hoping that this really impacts the efficacy of this Dynamax turn. And Melodic is a super bulky Pokemon, so I'm not super worried about it taking attacks from Cinderace. So there's a whole lot of buildup to kind of not much happening. So this is going to create a, stand, a Sandstorm. Arcanine is also very bulky. And I've used Intimidate, which dropped its attack a stage, and then it's burned. burned. It. So mm. its damage output's really going to be reduced. And then Further, Melodic has a Citrus Berry, which will activate when its HP gets below half, and then it has Recover as well. So the Melodic staying power is really, really good. Um, the thing about targeting Dynamax Pokemon is they can use Max Guard. I don't know if Como... -O, I have a feeling this Como -O is Assault Vest. Um, no, you don't really battle a lot. I, I don't want to use Muddy Water because that Cinderace might just bounce again. Oh, let's see. Jess in the chat says, y'all are chill to watch while finishing my Pokedex. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, heck yeah. <laughs> how close is, how close to you? She's still watching. Josh says, who plays Pokemon in dock mode, lol? Well, you do when you want to stream it. I do. You <laughs> have to do it when you stream it, yeah. <laughs> I, I've actually found myself playing this one docked more than I, I thought I would. Uh, yeah, I played weird. a fair amount. Well, I, so me and my girlfriend would play docked because we would be like watching each other and like playing with each other. So, so Max Knuckles is going to increase attack that undoes the effect of the Intimidate. Um, however, Sylveon is going to have a super effective Hyper Voice into this Como. So, <laughs> Josh is just messing with us. All good. No worries. It's hard to it's hard to tell when people are messing with us and they're yeah. being mean though. Yeah, right. Like it, it's uh that's always the problem with chat. Okay, who's this gonna be? Okay. Oh no. Okay, that triggered the it's called a pinch berry. Berries that activate um when you reach a certain health point. Oh no, I didn't anticipate this. It's not too bad. It's not. I'm, and I don't have to worry about defense. Both Pokemon are special attackers. That's not going to be effective on the Cinderace, but it is going to get rid of the Como. So, Jess says they are 50 away from completing the Pokedex. Good oh, luck in there. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ooh, love that. <laughs> Those speakers can't handle it. Yeah. What the? Hmm. And that will increase Sylveon's special attack. So this Sylveon is interesting. Um, like I said, I didn't build this team. It has Quick Attack, and I think the purpose of that is because of Sylveon's ability to pixelate. Quick Attack will be a Fairy-type move. You can Quick Attack your own Tyranitar and trigger Tyranitar's Weakness Policy. Uh, weakness Policy is an item when a Pokemon's hit with a super effective attack, it increases its attack, and Special Attack by two stages, so it doubles Tyranitar's attack doing that. Um, it's, a, it's a really interesting strategy when people hit their own Pokemon. Um, 
You know what? I'm going to recover. Yeah, this, this is all wild because my usual thing is like, ah, they're fire type. I'm going to use a water type move. <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah. I, and there's then it gets so to much like, more. And then it gets to like dark and sidekick and poison. And I'm like, I don't know what's good against what. <laughs> yeah, I struggle to remember some so, of those. Now that this Cinderace, I know that it carries bounce, which takes two turns. Oh, it's not going to use it. But I was going to use that as like I have a free turn to recover. But I'm glad I recovered. Uh, Joshua says, love watching this. Did not think I'd love the new Pokemon, but I do. You guys are helpful with the info and awesome Pokemon videos so far after release. There you go. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If you're interested in competitive, as we mentioned earlier, uh, Jake and Callie have a competitive Pokemon guides coming out, hopefully, end of the month. So no, it'll be end that. of the month. Hopefully around Pokemon Day. <laughs> hopefully around yeah, Pokemon that's, Day. That's, that's the, idea. the goal. What, what day is Pokemon Day? February 27th. 20... Yep. Okay. Of February. That was the day um, that red and green first released in Japan. Aww. And yesterday was Mewtwo's birthday. That's true. Yes. I have a question about that because, so Mewtwo's supposed to be like a clone, but then that image that was going around was like, Mew gave birth yesterday. And I was like, <laughs> that's not we... exactly how that works. Yeah. That's not how. Mm. <laughs> I think it's just like. Old Pokemon, they didn't really know what to do. They were just like, oh. They hadn't really it. established the lore yeah. <laughs> quite yet. <laughs> so Charizard is a special attacker. Um, I'm just going to yawn and put it to sleep. But I don't, Charizard's often Dynamaxed, so I don't have to worry about that because of the Jengmo. Uh, someone wants to know, is the weakness policy the same thing as a uh, Justify Lucario? It's a similar concept. So Justify Lucario, for people who don't know, is uh, Justified increases a Pokemon's attack when it's hit by a dark type move. So what people will do is use a move called um, Beat Up. Beat Up, yeah. Which uh, attacks for the number of Pokemon that you have in your party. So it'll hit four times. You use it on a Whimsicott, which is... Uh... Oh, no. Uh, Whimsicott does not have a strong attack, so you're not going to really damage your Lucario much by doing that, but it'll hit four times, which means you'll increase attack four stages, which quadruples it. So, or, yeah. Yes. No. The, the numbers are hard. It'll increase it by 200%. So, um, it's a really powerful strategy to just increase, increase your Lucario's attack right at the gate. Weakness policy attacking your own Pokemon is a similar concept, but it's only uh, two stages instead of four. Uh, Brennan says, do you think a new Pokemon DLC character will be coming to Smash Bros. Ultimate? I feel very confident that they'll do a, a new Pokemon. Yep. It'll be, it'll be Cinderace. <laughs> uh. mm. You know, when it first came out, I really didn't like Rillaboom. But I've been warming up to Rillaboom. I think he might be my favorite of the three. I still I, like Cinderace. I think, I think they might have the most solid, I don't know, appealing look to me through all of their evolutions. I really like the middle one a lot. I like Thwacky a lot. Yeah, yeah. he's mm. like just jumping in, pulling things out of his and hair. Like when we get Rillaboom with hidden ability, it'll be super powerful. Rillaboom's hidden ability is a Grassy Surge, which triggers grassy terrain which is a really powerful ability, and I think it has super high attack. Mm. So I think it'll be really popular, um, kind of like when Incineroar became popular when its hidden ability Intimidate uh, was available. You get that usually through special distribution. It's not available in the game right now. Right. Uh, good game, Rahad. Yeah. All right. So uh, I saw a couple people in the chat who were looking for a game, so uh, you just have to We're set it yes. up again. So set it up. Uh, best of luck getting into this. We're going to do Link Battle. Link code 0279. Uh, Nintendo main. When we said new Pokemon, we were referring to uh, like DLC characters for Smash. That's yeah. That's what we were referring for to. For the, the next fighter pass. Six characters coming in it. God. Uh, Marcus says, as a non-Pokemon player, this game seems a bit overwhelming for new players. I mean, It's really not. It's actually the most accessible Pokemon Yeah. Uh, uh, my girlfriend, this was her first Pokemon, and she actually had like a really good time with it. There's definitely... Some right, things that, like, if you really, really want to get into it, like, there's there's that depth that you might need. Like, the things I'm talking about, you don't need to know to play. Yeah. Yeah. You can just play the game casually and have a good time. 
Like you can get through most battles just by mashing A. Yeah. I was, <laughs> yeah. was going to say, I, as a person who just does the water beats fire, like I can, I can cruise through it and be fine. But. Although I'll, I'll say, uh, in a long time, I really enjoyed some of the later gym battles in this one. I feel like yeah. they got oh, yeah. like, way more interesting, and I like like Rayhan in particular. Yes. I remember thinking it was pretty cool. Rayhan's is really cool or because Rayhan. it's uh, double battles, which is what is the. Yeah. My preferred competitive format. There are people who play competitive and, singles. It's just not my. And, and while you can still brute force that fight, you can tell through like kind of the dialogue and the matchups. They're trying to at least introduce you to the concept of double battles yeah, and, and like two Pokemon that and work pairing together them together. And, and, and so they're sort of like seeding that idea of competitive in the story without being too overbearing, which I think is a really smart way to do that. Yeah. And so what we're hoping to do with the competitive, like introduction to competitive series is just make it more accessible. Oh no, Cursola scares me so much. Yo, but my boy Cramorant's in there. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> oh, this team's... Oh. Nico, I better see Cramorant front and center. I want him over everything. What am I going to do? Super Mandible Colossus, they just caught a uh, Gigamax Toxicity. Or Tox... Nice. Toxicity? Toxtricity. A Gigantamax... Uh, what do I... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. <laughs> this is probably not the right way to do this. <laughs> I just want to like triple down music in this game is very good it's really good yeah. have they have they put out a soundtrack i know they've been doing that for a couple of the last pokemon i don't think so not yet i really did like they the do soundtrack. that yeah they uh, did it for x, sun and moon I and then thought. x and y as well oh. i remember because x and y soundtrack slaps and yeah. i remember being really excited because i was like whoa they're like selling it on the itunes store <laughs> And then you load it onto your iPod. And then I load it on my iPod. Ooh, shiny people. What is this, this Eurobeat? Oh. I was just doing random music. I love it. Mmm, okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I actually don't think I've heard this song before and this is taking me places. <laughs> Oh man. This is the. When does this play? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. I want to say maybe I'm, it's like rival against your rival. I'm really bad. Oh, at, I think this the, is a. Be, uh, what's his name? Bead? Bead? Beeb? Is it? Oh. Be, yeah. Be, babe? What, whatever their name Babe. Be <laughs> the one that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I just say Bead. <laughs> I okay. should feel bad then because I just don't remember it. I feel like I should remember it. I really appreciate the showing off of the shiny. Yeah. I yeah. don't, so I, when you see like an uncommon Pokemon, it gets pretty nerve wracking because I'm like, I don't know what that Pokemon's going to do. So uh, Thievul being a dark type is going to threaten my Gothitelle. So I wanted to get that off of the field as quickly as possible. Uh, whereas Sandaconda, I can pretty easily get rid of with Melodic. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's it's Bead's song. I I am not the person to ask about what songs are from what, except for the Battle Tower music, which is Toby Fox's song. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we get that one. Yeah. There he is, Ben. <laughs> That's <laughs> the stream's been made. This is all I needed. <laughs> Let's see. I I think Sandicon is pretty slow. Let's see if Paralyzed Durant still outspeeds it. <laughs> I just want to throw out there, Sanaconda is a great name for a Pokemon. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a really good name. Oh. I love how cinematic these feel in this one. Like, that's, it's such a, yes. such a step up. <laughs> oh, it just gets better. <laughs> Oh. I don't know if you're doing this to just appeal to me or what. No, this is, but... a, this is a real strategy. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm glad that there's an actual strategy around making Cramorant huge. <laughs> oh, that oh. reminds me when... when uh, This is going to increase their speed further. <laughs> when my girlfriend first started playing, she like 
texted me while I was at work and she's like, I just made my pit of Gigantamax and he looks so dumb. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this giant pigeon. Okay, so I'm not faster than anything. So Gothitelle does have Trick Room. I could combat this with Trick Room, but after Dy Dynamax, I don't think my Durant's gonna be super useful anyway. So I'd rather just do that. <laughs> Goodbye, Cramorant. Sorry, Ben. If he had to go out some way, it'd have to be the giant explosion. That's all <laughs> Sorry. good. Sorry. I got to see it, and that's, that's what matters. Bring Cramorant to Smash. Yeah, that's that's the Smash character we need. Uh, it just eats the people. Okay, and... this is the thing I am terrified so of. So I know about this uh, from earlier. Oh, it's backstory? Or... No, they're like, they're defense thing, oh. right? Oh. So, or is this a different one? So, no. So, Cursola has extremely high special defense, um, I think. But um, if you hit it with a physical move, mm, mm, it's going it, it to... Has, it has the ability to perish body, which can cause the... It, it basically works like perish song. <laughs> um, it might cause the Pokemon to faint. I'm so scared, but uh, Galarian Corsola, you could get it with, you could have it um, hold Eviolite, which will increase its both defenses, so defense and special defense. So that's a popular thing in singles, not so much doubles. Uh -huh. Let's see if I got hit by, I didn't get hit by Parish Body. We have an F in the chat for Cramorant. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't hear enough of the song because whenever I fought them, I'd usually just kind of like throw them aside and not have to even think about it. <laughs> yeah. Because like I, I had like one Pokemon that would just one shot each one of them as they came out. Yeah. That, that character was the cockiest loser. Oh yeah. Ever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like you've got nothing to show. I've, I've crushed you every single time, <laughs> and here you are talking up a big game. That one was close, but I'll get you the next time for sure. Ugh. Out of the four people uh, of you, who is the best at this game? Uh, Callie. It's Callie. Two hundred percent. Without. I realized I pointed, but no one can see my point. But I, 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 I was all, pointing at Callie. Pointed. I don't think anyone Callie. can see it. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to point, do point it. Point with the, the camera. Yeah. I can't do it. Nope. Just, there we go. Mine's easy. I get there. to she just point up. I. Okay, that was targeted at melodic. Um. I didn't feel very good at this game when I was on the ladder last time. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Boruto's dad says, hey there, GameSpot. What did I miss? <gasps> Hell Boruto's yeah, dad. Boruto's dad's here. Everything just keeps getting better. We, we had the Cramorant <laughs> get really big earlier. Boruto's dad's here. This might be the best Community Fridays we've had in a while. Uh, Boruto's dad, we are just uh, playing some hot Pokemon with people in the chat. If you have Pokemon and you want to play against us, uh, you can absolutely do so. We have the the link code that we uh, have ready to go. Mm -hmm. I, Now's the time to start searching. Now's the time to start searching. Uh, I wonder how many people point. match with each other though while they're searching. You know, like oh, uh, that's, that's a good curious, question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that means you're still getting into a match. Yeah. You need yeah. to play, but we're bringing people together. Also, I, through the power of Pokemon. I really mm -hmm. hope that Bruto's dad plays Pokemon and made their character to look like Naruto and has like a whole ninja theme team oh like i want good. the bit to get carried all the way through <laughs> i like the I'm idea saying. of a ninja theme team yeah who'd Maybe. you have in that shedinja what's the other like is it carablast what's the a scavalier what uh, i'm trying i don't know i'm trying to think of ninja theme you're Pokemon. thinking of uh excel gore yes oh, that ninja. one Greninja, uh, yeah, not in this one Greg though Ninja. oh yeah yeah I mean, greg ninja there froki is going to be in it oh really yeah, oh, I was in the data mine. Oh, cool. It's Sir Pikachu. Nico said, thanks for the uh, battle. Our rematch is an option. Uh, we're going to let everyone else try and like yeah. get in, but if uh, you're around and uh, you want to get back in later, uh, we're more than happy to. Yeah, yeah, good game. All right, Sir Pikachu, let's do this. I had that profile picture myself for a while. I love the, like, 
flipping aviator hat and goggles. It's a good one. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I kicked Jake on accident. It's right there. It's just one one click away. I just noticed that that uh, Arcanine's level one. <laughs> so this is that's a common thing is like yeah. if, if you can just uh, evolve the Pokemon with a stone and it doesn't need to know any moves. You just leave it at one because it's automatically it going to get leveled up. Oh, you don't need to about. waste your time leveling it up. So the Whimsicott is also level one. Because hmm. it'll be auto leveled to 50, doesn't matter. Although, for me, I level them up a little bit. I end up leveling them up a little bit anyway because I manually EV train parts of them. Mm. Um, like, I will just go fight the Pokemon in the wild <laughs> to EV train. So they do get levels that way, but you don't need to do that. I just, I like to save. I like to be economical with the items Frugal. that I buy. It's Frugal, good, good yeah. to do. Good for sure. And I don't like to wait for the Poke jobs because you can do that with Poke jobs too. I forgot that Poke jobs are a thing in this game. Uh, there's uh -oh. A oh no! Oh no! Oh no, Sir Pikachu. All right, guys, I guess we'll uh, try and get someone else this in. Is another shot. Oops. Oh. Give me a second. She's too excited. We just, just want to get right back into the next fight. No worries. Zero, two, seven, nine. Uh, oh my god. I'm having see. a time. There we go. Jalen says you guys should do this more often. So yeah, I mean specifically Pokemon, I think we kinda have that as like a, a thing on the I don't know, just when nothing else is really relevant. Yeah. This is one of the ones that I think we like doing. Yeah, I think uh, Pokemon's a good go-to. It's a good go-to yeah. one. All right, DJ. <laughs> DJ. I, I feel like I fought DJ the last time we did this. DJ Sobble. We're getting the run back. The Sobble's really cute. Yeah. Um, Looks like it wants to hug. Yeah. Um, I did this on uh, Pokemon Tonight Combat on Giant Bomb as well. Uh, Daryl Jr. says, hey, Callie, it's me. Hi. Oh, it's DJ. <laughs> Duh. Oh. <laughs> Please pick ranked battle series two. <laughs> uh, Emma oh. says, uh, has anyone done a Gigamax uh, Toxtricity raid? I haven't done it yet. We have two lined up, though. I mean... We can do them after this. So but. there's actually a code you can get right now with um, mystery gift. If you input the code punk rock uh, with a zero for the O, there's no O, so you'll be fine. Um, you get three high horsepower TRs. Toxtricity has a four times weakness to ground type moves. So if you are having trouble with Toxtricity raids, enter that mystery gift code and that might help you. I'm also going to bring my... Uh, I have a ride on with lightning rod that'll just cripple this toxicity. So we'll see. Okay, so this has a Corsola. Mm -hmm. Okay, DJ. I feel like I lost to DJ the last time I did this. So let <laughs> let's see how this goes. Ops to goon. Did you end up getting a flame orb for? I don't have a flame orb yet. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this is a flame orb. Ops to goon. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? DJ says you won last time. Did I? Oh, well, there you go. Well, that's good for me. DJ's here for the run back. There it is. Uh, Dustin just says, got this for my birthday. Uh, seems like a Nintendo online subscription is pretty helpful. I guess if you want to do the, the like, I, you probably need it if you if you want to have like people wandering around in the max raids, I assume, right? Do you yeah. think so? Online? I don't know. I'm not 100%, but you can certainly play the game single player without yeah. it. Um, I guess it's just how much you want to do online battles and potentially like, raid stuff with other people yeah. mm -hmm. also happy late birthday depending on when it happens when you got your game this is the song yeah i love this song you could you could tell he made it oh wow yeah you can this is my first time hearing this <laughs> oh everything's all red it's so intense Ooh, matches the eyes yeah okay so ooh, both shiny Oh, 
It's not magic bounce. Hmm. What's that mean? Magic bounce would be like, I can't taunt Hatterene. Um, okay. That's the... So the thing is, I have my own trick room. So running trick room right now would could be difficult. Let's see. I want to raise special defense for sure. Uh, someone wants to know, uh, can you actually choose the music or is it random? You can choose the music. You can. Okay. I chose this. I, for, I, yeah, for these battles though, right? Not throughout the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, for, okay. I've been doing random just because I had it set on this song. And I was <laughs> like, I, it should, so times. I <laughs> should probably switch it so I don't get sick of it. Fair. Yeah. So I just, did, I just do random now. Man, this stadium looks cool. Why have we seen this stadium? Like in these battles. I don't know. Is this the rock gym? What is this? I think it's the fire gym. gym. It's a uh, fire gym. Yeah. I get. It's, I don't know. It's I, that. Uh, I forgot his name, but the old man. It's Corsola's yeah. defense Cabo is, or something like is yeah. insane. But was the floor cracked like this? It's been a while. I think so. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I don't played through it twice. twice. No. Yes. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dustin uh, asking about the schedule well, release for the competitive leftovers, stuff. Leftovers, huh? Uh, they're gonna try and get that up near the end of the month, hopefully around Pokemon Day, mm -hmm. which is on the 27th. Around those days, I'll we'll we'll both tweet about it. I'm sure leading up yeah. to it. Um, but definitely now, because we've been spending a lot of time on it. I think it's gonna turn out very well. Hopefully, I want enough it to, to be watch perfect. it. And a real good way to not miss any of the other stuff we do too is just subscribe oh, to the channel. Is this Gigantamax? So you get to Hattering. see everything that happens. I like that. Uh, you also don't miss any of our streams we do. Every weekday at 11 a.m. Pacific, including Community Fridays, every Friday, where we try to play games with you guys. That's my promo. I'm done, I promise. <laughs> so you're saying Dynamax only increases HP. Mm -hmm. Does Gigantamax increase more? No. Gigantamax just changes the move to a G-Max move. Okay. Um... But they only have one G-Max move, right? Depending on the Pokemon? Yeah. So, yeah. like, that helping hand really helped. Oh, and it was a crit. Okay. I really didn't want to get Will O Wisp. I wanted to get rid of that hurt, uh, Corsola. Dun dun dun. And I was lucky in that targeting because um, Hatterene guarded, so protected. Um, sorry, what was the question? Oh, Gigantamax moves. So G Max moves are like uh, Charizard's, for example, is called G Max Wildfire. Mm -hmm. It's different than. <gasps> Woohoo! Dang! What Square is this? shiny too. That is an awesome color. This is dope, DJ. Your team owns. Um, Over here, looking like an American gladiator. Uh, <laughs> and now I'm free to target the Hatterene though, because it can't. It you can't really double protect. Um, so G Max Wildfire basically works like Fire Spin and does fire damage rather than G Max or. Uh, max flare which is just a fire type move okay. that causes sun so um g max moves are like are replace the uh associated typing okay um so like you can't have a <laughs> you can't have a, a gigantamax charizard with max flare it's gonna be g max wildfire okay interesting i don't even know what oh it's a casper i don't need that because the ghost is gone um, the berry that Gothitelle is holding protects it. Uh, it reduces damage from one ghost type move. Um, but the Corsola is out of the picture, so knocking that off does not worry me. It doesn't look like this is a flame war obstacle either. Emma wants to know how long has Callie been playing Pokemon in total? She seems like a real pro. Um, thank you. I guess. Sorry, I like his blue tongue. Continue. Oh, it's good. <laughs> I guess, um, like in total, I mean, my my whole life, I guess. But like, competitively, I've been playing. I've been aware of competitive Pokemon. Ha! Ah, the whole team. Durant. Um, I've been aware of competitive Pokemon since X and Y, and then uh, I mostly just bred because. Uh, recent years have been using legendaries, and I wasn't interested in using legendaries. Mm. Um, no. Mm, yeah. My worry is that Duraludon has a weakness policy. I don't want to trigger the weakness policy. So. 
I like that Duraladon looks like a Wi-Fi router. <laughs> with arms and legs. It's... <laughs> So yeah, I've been playing Pokemon for a very long time, but this is the first game I've actually felt like I had the ability to battle. I hope I get a flinch. Emma's saying once uh, you go competitive, it's really hard to go back. Sure is. Ah, I did get a flinch. Shoot. This is it for me. Oh, that poor Sylveon. Yikes. It's okay. You did a good job. So typically, I wouldn't run a move. I would do Flash Cannon on a Duraludon instead of Steel Beam, because Steel Beam does so much recoil damage, um, whereas Flash Cannon does not. But that certainly um, did not do me any favors. Uh, Super Mandible Claw, yes. I believe this is 4v4. It is. It's uh, bring six, pick four. So I have two options here. I could Snarl to reduce its the Duraludon special attack. I think I'm just going to try to kill it. <laughs> DJ said they forgot to put back on Flash Cannon. Oh, oh, no. I mean, I wasn't trying to lecture you in particular, DJ. I, <laughs> I'm just, you know, this is... I'm just talking. <laughs> so the expert Pokemon commentary... No, I, I appreciate you, like, bringing all this, like, insight to, like, the various specific intricacies. Like, it's... I was really worried because Duraludon has really high defense and low special defense, but my special defense Pokemon are all gone. Is it time to one-on-one? -on -one? 1v1. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm a little worried, though, because I think Obstagon is might be faster. No, it's not faster. I'm dumb. I just show that it's not faster. Emma, we're going to be streaming for about another uh, 40 minutes. Uh, we usually go for an hour and a half. She's been waiting the whole fight to say this, but she's to say that Obstagoon is Obstagon now. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew you would knock them out eventually. Good game, DJ. I really appreciated all the shinies. That was fun. Yeah, that was a really good fight. Yeah, that was great. That was, that was tense. I really want a shiny Obstagoon so yeah. bad. And it was a square shiny, which I think you probably caught it in the wild. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh... Rain Miller says, I'm down to battle people while we wait in queue for Callie. If anyone wants, I'm going to be oh. using the same code. Oh, there you go. Okay. Next up, best of luck to everybody who wants to battle. Uh, if you've already um, battled, please let somebody else battle. Mm -hmm. I'm usually up for rematches, but um, I want to make sure everybody who wants to battle can. 0279, double battle. Uh, DJ says, that was an awesome battle. Good game. And that uh, they... Uh, actually bred that Pokemon. You bred that oh, awesome. Yeah. He said it was pretty lucky he's the only square shiny I bred. That's Aww. awesome. Um, I do have a square shiny. I have a square shiny um, Sableye, but I can't use it for anything because Sableye, you need its hidden ability. What's a square shiny? Uh, the sparkles are squares. Oh. That's all, that's all that is. That's cool. It's new. It's a new thing. Okay. Um, all isn't, right, isn't Anthony. is the shiny Snorlax square shiny too? Oh, is it? Maybe not. Well, I, don't know. I don't think it is. Uh, Marcus, uh, no, Callie has not lost yet. <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> um, I'd be willing to try another team. This is so I have basically no experience with Weezing Zap. Um, I have plenty of experience with this team. This is Sajin Park's um, championship invitational team. But I really like Goth Control. He doesn't Keep say. There's a lot of good stuff going on with this one. And I think I've seen something new every fight you've done with it. Yeah, and I, I really like it because, uh, like I said at the beginning, it's some of my favorite Pokemon. Um, like a team of my favorite Pokemon. That uh, So um, Gabby Snyder, who is a uh, commentator, like a caster for competitive Pokemon, actually recommended this team to me. Oh, cool. So, um, cause I was talking to her about how I, I'm like, I'm so stressed with team building cause the meta is pretty offensive or offensive. I, I always do that. It's not offensive. It does not offend me. <laughs> um, it's, it's pretty offense focused and I really liked playing more defensively. I like, uh, more defensive Pokemon. Um, and she was like, I think you'll really like this team. So, and I am, I'm really liking it. Um, yeah. So I have a question. And so if you like this team, would you make, 
are you like when you make your team when you breed your team are you going to do something similar or are you going to kind of like take this team and maybe swap some pokemon out with ones that you might think mm -hmm. that work better um, or are you going to just try to stick to this i might um change up like some moves or like if i try to recreate a similar team i might change uh the EV spreads of things. Um, basically, when people EV train their Pokemon, uh, they are doing calculations to see like, oh, if I give it this many EVs in speed, it'll outspeed Charizard specifically, and that's the Pokemon I'm, Pokemon I'm trying to be faster than. So there's like little things like that. Like if mm -hmm. so, if I find that I really struggle against uh, Cursola, then I could maybe tailor some of their training to fit that. If if, if Cursola was a really popular Pokemon. Um, but so far, I really like it. I think so. I I went on. I found this team on a site called Trainer Tower. There's also Victory Road VGC. Both sites have like team reports. So the person who made the team does like a full breakdown of what the team's uh, breeding and training looks like. Um, oh, we're just going direct with this core. Okay. A spicy maneuver. This is like, I feel like this is directly to be like, I hate Durant, don't use Durant. <laughs> so we are going to do something else instead. Ryan Miller says, I hope I can battle Callie. I just got a new team ready. It took me three weeks. Ooh. 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 Uh, what's Callie's streak at? What? How many matches have we done? Oh. Four, four or five? I'd Sounds say so. Right. Uh, Emma says, do you guys have a Twitter I could follow? Like in each of us? Uh, I guess. Or like at GameSpot? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can find everything at GameSpot. GameSpot but... But if you're, if you're we... interested in like specific Pokemon stuff, you should probably follow Callie. Definitely. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Inky Dojiko, I N K Y D O J I K K O. I do, I would like to change it. All of the handles that I want are taken, including at Callie, which I want so bad. And they're all taken by people who don't tweet. <laughs> at Callie would be a real good get. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, shiny. I like the I style like of, uh, I forget the name of who you're playing, but I like, I like their style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dustin says they love the layout of the stream. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's real nice. Um, so Melodic's ability is competitive. It is a um, an intimidate counter. Um, basically, if Melodic's stats are lowered, its special attack goes up. So now my Melodic can probably take out these Pokemon pretty easily. Um, my Tyranitar has been intimidated, though. So we'll just go like <laughs> that, I guess. Someone says you should do California as your Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted Thrill Ho as a, a Simpsons yeah. homage, but that is also taken by someone who doesn't tweet. Man. There's nothing worse than someone taking a good handle and then just not using it. I'm really putting these people on blast because you can go find their. I don't. <laughs> please don't say anything to these people. <laughs> they just suddenly. They're, I'm getting a lot of messages from people saying like, "Give Callie her Twitter." Oh, Jesus, what's happening? How dare um, you? Arcanine is an interesting, unpredictable Pokemon because it can be specially uh, offensive or physically. So I'm just betting that this Arcanine is a physical attacker. Um, and I use the Intimidate for that reason. So this is a, a Gigantamax Charizard, and it'll Ooh. have G-Max Wildfire, which will cause like a fire spin effect that'll chip damage a couple turns. Um, but Tyranitar did set up a Sandstorm. Yeah, it is a physical, it's a physical Arcanine. Um, oh no! A Charizard has a presence. Oh. I love that. That was of supposed to go into the Tyranitar. Gigantamax Charizard. Yeah. That was a Tyranitar prediction that I'm very sorry it did not work out. <laughs> yeah, G Gigantamax Charizard is really cool. I've seen shiny ones. Arcanine! Whoa, whoa. You've seen shiny Gigantamax Charizard? Mm -hmm. Dang. So, uh, Tyranitar introduced the Sandstorm, which means that fire type moves are not going to get a boost this turn or the next because the Sandstorm is still going. So, that does help me. I'm nervous. I think because this Char Charizard isn't boosted by anything, 
and hasn't gotten any sort of attack boost, I think I can withstand a max overgrowth from this Charizard, so we'll see. Uh, Emma wants to know the rest of our Twitters. I'm at John Luke Seifke, Ben's at Ben Janka, and Jake is at uh, Jacob, Jacob Deck. Deck. Everybody else has one you don't need to spell. That's nice. Um, <laughs> well, although, well, good luck trying to know spell how to spell Seifke. Yeah, yeah. Spell Seifke. Uh, the fun thing is, though, if you follow any of us, you'll probably find the other people. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Uh, and there is an official GameSpot Twitter as well. I yes. really bank just on... at GameSpot. Yeah. I really bank on people just searching my name. Right. Because yeah. I am the only Cali Plaguey... They're right. actually, they're, I think there is another one, if Facebook is not lying to me, but, um, oh, Ooh, I forced, forced him out of a, okay, so Dragapult is also one that can be physical or special. Uh, Dragapult has hi much higher um, physical attack than special attack, but its physical attack move pool is pretty pitiful, um, which makes it... Uh, a pretty common candidate for a special attacker, so we'll see how this one is trained. Dragapult should be the next Pokemon to be put in Smash. I'd be okay with that. I'd be really okay with that. Muddy Water also has the chance to lower the opposing Pokemon's accuracy. That's not really a common strategy you see, but... I'm picturing Dragapult, like, when sprints, like, goes straight down, straight like, down and glides. Yeah. Um, it's, sorry, it's, what was I saying? It's B would be, it's, uh... The little yeah, where he fires two things. Two yeah. Um... This grassy terrain's basically undoing the sandstorm think, chip think, damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, DJ Day says it's cool that she's able to break all this down. Yeah. People are really appreciating the commentary. I, it, I think it's nice because, like, I watch this and I'm like, things are happening, but I, like, yeah. I, I don't really necessarily understand certain strategies. So having you, like, break this stuff down is uh, helping me a lot. I'm I'm trying to, like, contextualize the things I'm saying. So I'm not just like, oh, it has this ability and that's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm trying to explain. Right. But I, I'm sorry if I'm kind of rambling because I definitely lose track of that was a lucky hit. No, Oof. I think this is Thunder great. has low accuracy and it's not raining. You need that. So that tells me that it's a a special Dragapult though. So have you ever? If you, uh, I don't know. I know Dota does this when they stream. They'll have like the normal commentators, and they're just saying shit that's like I have no idea what's going on. I don't play Dota, but then they have like another commentary track you can listen to that's the like one. the beginner one, and it's them like very like carefully explaining how things are actually <laughs> work. And I'm like, I appreciate this. So that was a really good turn. Because both of those moves have kind of low accuracy. I think they're both 75% um, percent accurate. They are guaranteed, they are increased to 100% accuracy in rain. And it's not raining. And both moves hit. So that's a pretty good turn. Um, but I still managed to take out the Dragapult. So that was a good turn for me too. <laughs> you know, if Pokemon were real and I went to a stadium, I'd hate any Sandstorm teams. Yeah, right? I would suck. Like, yeah, who would do that? It was like cutting to like the crowd clapping, just sandstorm Sand, like, blowing in their the faces. Face. Ugh. Samson says, Kylie kind of reminds me of Cynthia from the Elite Four. Ooh. Thank you. That is an honor. <laughs> Freddie uh, Mercury says, hello. Hello, Freddie Mercury. Hello, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Back you alive, huh? I was hanging. Back from the dead. Oh, no, Arcanine. So a th uh, fun fact about confusion. Uh, the damage that a Pokemon takes from confusion uh is dependent on the Pokemon's attack stat. So you'll often see if you're looking up, how do I want to breed a competitive Pokemon? You'll see a recommendation for zero attack IVs. So a, a, a basically a, the worst possible attack stat that Pokemon could have, if it's a special attacker. So confusion does as little damage as possible. That makes Ooh. sense. Okay, so that's not good for me because, well, no, I still have Ice Beam, Never mind. Dustin says, is it normal to spend uh, so much money on clothes in this game? Yes. Yes. All yes. your money. I have a lot of money in this game because I spent so much time trying to get a flame more. Well, think about all the new clothes you'll be able to buy in the expansion. Exactly. So fashion is always the real end game. Uh, for me, at least. Gotta uh, get those pants, right? You just gotta get those pants. Get those pants, man. Uh, Jalen says, would you do any single battle live streams? I don't really have the best doubles team. I... 
don't really have a singles team or singles capable mm. Pokemon. It's just not not really my style. I actually, in Sun and Moon, I really liked Battle Royale. Um, and I had a Battle Royale team. Um, but yeah, I I would consider it maybe, but I'm just so entrenched in doubles and how doubles works. Okay, so I was a turn a turn early on getting this Tyranitar out to... So Sandstorm, because Tyranitar is a rock type, Sandstorm increases the special defense of rock type Pokemon, but I don't really need that anymore um, considering Corviknight is not a special attacker. As soon as that Sandstorm cleared up, I my eyes felt better. <laughs> I felt like I'd been squinting the whole time trying to like see. <laughs> it's, it looks so good. It looks so clear. The, you see the sand yeah. coming at you. Someone in the chat made a joke about like the, the crowd being like, Whoa! And then, like, coughing because of the yeah. sand is like it's just getting in their face. Good game, Anthony. Good fight. Uh, Marcus is curious has Temtem been pulling you away from Pokemon? No, I have only been playing Pokemon basically since December. <laughs> I haven't messed with Temtem at all, but I'm, I'm curious. I think it's cool that another uh, game is out that's like very directly trying to be Pokemon because, if anything, I think that's just could they, they could bring new ideas that could inspire pokemon to like mix things up as well so i don't know it's like competition just breeds like better games for yeah. everyone yeah, yeah I, I played the beta a little bit and i enjoyed the beta i think i'm just waiting for like i i'm one of the people who just wait for the full game sure I, I mean, especially with like a story i mean it's not story but like a game like that like it'd be weird to like do the first three gyms or whatever and then just stop yeah you know? and, and who knows what they might change all right and, vic and, you know, yeah. stats and that kind of stuff we're using a uh, ranked battle series two by the way i'm just going to reiterate that for people uh brendan says i have to go but thank you guys for the awesome stream as usual be back next week thank you thanks for, for coming yeah. thank you for coming by thanks for hanging out have a good weekend this is goth control. <laughs> uh, V1G4M1. I don't know how you would say that as one word, but uh, says, oh my God, I got in. So that's who we're. Uh, Heck yeah. Oh, cool. hey, that's Vic. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of Cinderace, actually. It has really high attack. Oh, that sweet turtle boy is here. What's the score? I, th I think, Kylie, you have still not lost, is the score. Mm hmm. Uh, is this a weekly stream? It's my first time watching. So we do weekly uh, community streams where we play games with you guys. It's not always Pokemon, though. We yeah. try and get it to a game that's relevant, if there is uh, one. But in cases where there isn't anything relevant, we like to have a couple of staple games um, that we can kind of go back to. And Pokemon is one of them. Yes. I think Pokemon seems to be pretty popular, so I'm more than happy to keep doing Pokemon. Me yeah, too. This is a really good time. Oh, oh, I love that card. That's so pretty good. Cool. Oh, man. Oh, that's real good. <laughs> I got one um, during a, uh, a ranked battle where the person like positioned themselves so it looks like they're kissing ball guy. Aww. Oh, I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> I have a screenshot. I'll just like, I'll pull it oh, up. Oh, that's so good. I'll pull it up later. I love uh, the trainer card yep. stuff. That, I think that's such a cool addition. Yeah. I like when, yeah. when the people do like the scene. Jean-Luc made us like physical trainer cards yeah. too. Got them all printed. Made like physical ones for you guys. That's why I didn't want to change mine too much. Because yeah. I kind of want to grab mine so I can show it on the stream. Can I, I do that? Can I run and go yeah, grab it? Yeah, you can go grab it. it. Yeah. Right, I'll be back. Either one of these Pokemon could Gigantamat. So. You say, I, I don't think you've, uh, you've Dynamax much. Oh, I didn't Dynamax last battle, I think. Yeah. Phone Which off? instinctively, that's like my first thing I want to do because I feel like that's what what has to happen, but obviously that's not the truth. I'm just kind of guessing as to what I want to do here, so. But now Vic is locked into Appleton and Dreadnought because of Gothitelle's shadow attack ability. So. Uh -huh. Camera, this one. That one. There you go. There it is. He made, yes. He made in front and back. There's a thing on the back too. Mm -hmm. I 
only kind of regretted the fact that I chose 69 as my trainer number when I when he printed it up, but <laughs> I, you know. I almost late. did, and then I, I had to pick something different. So I, I, it was that day I went on Twitter and like, oh, everyone's got 69, but I so, want to do 69. Yeah, to be fair, we had this game early, so I would, I would, I think it's safe you to assume that first. I was the first one who put 69 as their as their trainer ID number mm. or their their number, but you know. Hey, I believe it. That's that's canonical as far as I'm concerned. I think it'd be really cool to go to like um, the like competitive like Pokemon championships and then set up like a booth. That's like, come on by and pay me like $15 yeah. Yeah. and I will make a physical version of your card that you can like have. That would sell like How crazy. Nintendo it? would shut you down. <laughs> Nintendo would shut me down. How did you do it? Uh, I basically took some screenshots, uh, cut them out through Photoshop, uh, printed them out on some like really nice glossy paper and then uh, like laminated them. I, I love it. It was like such a wonderful surprise. Well, everyone's got the Cosmic Kiryu jacket in this fight. I like Orbeetle a lot, especially uh, Orbeetle's Gigantamax. It has a really good. Cool. It has a good G Max move to potentially. Okay, I hope I can knock it out though. Durant is such a beast. Nick wants to know if you have any shinies on your team. Uh, not on this team, just because it's a rental that I. All right. You know, I didn't breed or train. Um, I have a an Umbreon that's shiny that I could potentially use. It's all it's bread and stuff. Um, there are shinies that I want, but I I haven't been shiny hunting really because I want to figure out what Pokemon I want in a team before I commit to the shinies. Mm. I just really like Umbreon and I wanted one. Right. Uh... Samson wants to know if you could be one Pokemon, which would y'all be? Snorlax. So I could just oh, sleep, hell yeah. I could sleep all day. Uh, I'd probably be a bird Pokemon just because that'd be cool to fly. That's a real tough question. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like Alakazam because I can move things with my mind and stuff like that. Cool. Telepathy's pretty rad. I'm sorry. Pikachu, so everyone loves me. Did I put the same? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I think the Snorlax answer is a pretty good one. Though I don't like the fact that the whole, like, besides just being big and lazy, their whole thing is also just being an inconvenience because, like, they just sit in front it's of true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I don't want to cause anyone problems. So, uh, one thing that I just want to point out is that um, Durant is is counterable. You could intimidate Durant. You could um, burn Durant. Um, I've seen Whimsicots with um, support moves that could lower Durant's attack. That really crippled my Durant on the ranked ladder. So it's, Durant might seem OP, um, but there there are ways. And so that's part of team building is thinking about the meta, thinking about what Pokemon people are using, and then taking that into effect or, or taking that into account um, when you are building a team. So if I were to build a team to counter Durant, I would probably include Intimidate um, and Burn. And I think the Whimsicott was a really good one um, with moves that lower its attack. Mm. Really screwed me over. So this Appleton has really, really increased its defense. It flinched though, which is lucky for me. Um, and I think I can just wipe it out with Sylveon in one go, so let's see. Uh, Vic asks, what does Helping Hand do in the first place? Helping Hand increases the power of the Pokemon's move that turn. Okay. So you can use Helping Hand to... I, I've been using it to boost Durant's moves to hopefully pick up... My goal is to pick up the one hit KO. Good game, Vic. Woo. Yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry about Durant. God, that card's so good. That though. card is so good, though. All right, I think we're got about 20 more minutes, so we should have time for two more, hopefully. Yeah. Really quickly, I'm going to show you guys the... I'm going to quit out of this and then show you the the lead card with Bald Guy. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> so it's, it's so good. Vix says GG. Not like GG. I had a chance in the first place, but I got to promote oh, my card. Oh, man. <laughs> 
also that's also a 69 also a 69 i so, mean that that seems appropriate uh i am in love with this card anyway um yeah thank you for playing i'm really just happy that people are playing with us yeah heck yeah so let's do it again that's Zero all we're here for to have fun i just want to do a shout out to the the emblem for the the duos thing where the two of them are like holding hands. It's really cute. Oh. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, they're like, we're tough. We're, we're tough, all, but we're together. But we're friends. <laughs> oh. I like doing that. I'm going to say that's one of my favorite things in the game yeah. for sure. I think they should add uh, other like poses you can do when you spin. I think that I mean, cool. you can change the length of the spin and you can change the direction of the spin. Sweet, and cause, depending cause... on how you do it, that changes the form of alchemy that you get when you involve it. Yeah. So did fight Anthony already. Oh, we did fight Anthony already. I don't know if you want to look for someone else or. Uh, Georgia wanted an yeah, alchemy. In her I'm party. sorry, Anthony, but we do want people to. Or maybe I won't be able to do this. Yeah, if, if we might want to swap out someone. Imagine if it's. Actually I don't a know Anthony. if I can do it from now. Oh, you can't quit? I don't know. No, I can't. No. I can't. So, okay. oh no, no, I. Sorry, I'm navigating this menu. We'll see how it goes. Goob's in the chat. What up, Goob? Hey Hello, there. Goob. Hi, Goob. Marcus says, my son has beaten the eighth gym. Is he near the end of the game so I can steal his switch? Uh, <laughs> yes. Really close. Okay, this is a highly offense-oriented team. Um. Oh, Comrade Dracovish, I see him. So that, that Drilly Mole uh, is 2% at Digimon Design. That Drilly Mole? <laughs> uh, you can't convince me otherwise. They just stole it from Digimon. Do I want to bring my own? No, I don't. Goob says, no, is that the do? Jacob Decker? <gasps> the one and only. It is. It is I. Anthony's really going hard with this team. That's a scary looking team, if I'm, I'm being super honest. Scared. <laughs> it's it's the official run back. Happening right here. Let's see what the lead is. Style still on point. Okay, sand lead. Shiny sand lead. So um, this combination, basically Tyranitar Sandstream initiates a Sandstorm, and then Excadrill has the ability uh, Sand Rush, which increases its speed in sand. So the Excadrill um, is going to move first. Oh. Um, I mean... Do you think they'd ever do a Digimon Pokemon crossover? Definitely not at this point. No. <laughs> like, maybe there was potentially the possibility 20 years ago, Look. but definitely not now. Gigantamax Tyranitar is not what I expected, and I should have Willow Wisped the Tyranitar. There, there are an astounding number of people who think that a Digimon is going to make it into Smash, and that was one. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of people who are like, there are a bunch of signs pointing to Agumon from Digimon making it into, into Smash I would Brothers. love to read those theories. Uh, I haven't looked at any of them because I don't know how legitimate they are, and I kind of don't think that there's a chance. So this is definitely the end for my Arcanine. And I did, I should have burned, I should have burned Tyranitar. The, so this, that was actually just such a bad, such a bad choice because uh, Tyranitar has a much higher special defense than Excadrill, and it would have been more beneficial to me to cripple the Tyranitar because it's going to live longer. So that was just a bad call on my part. But Excadrill's toast. 
Who wants to know where all the game journalists are who don't wear glasses? That's what happens when you stare at screens all day for a living. Yeah. It's true. I mean, I've had glasses since I was in high school, so. Yeah, me, I, middle school for me, but. Uh, I should have had glasses years before I got them. I also know. played, I also like pretty much stared at my Game Boy for most of my childhood, so that probably did me in. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll never forget when I realized I needed them. Like my mom came down and was like, why are you squinting at the screen like three feet away from it? Uh, while I was playing Max Payne 2 trying to do that, or Max Payne 1 trying to do the, the blood platforming bit. Uh, um, mine's when I kept bothering my friend in math class to tell me what was on the board. I was like, what does that say on the board? He's like, you can't read that? I'm like, no. Uh, one thing I want to note is that max steel spike will increase defense. That's another way to protect yourself against a physical attacker. And I'm hoping that I won't pick up the the KO, but I'm hope, or maybe I will. Okay. Oh man. I'm really bad at, at knowing the calculations of how much damage a move is going to do. I think that's something that comes with time and with knowing uh, what the Pokemon spread is. But that uh, that was my my the best pivot I could do after not will o being the Tyranitar turn one. Um, usually you see the, the Excadrill Dynamaxing, so. Sorry, anyway, I this got glasses is... because I couldn't read the board in uh, my social studies class mm. in eighth grade, uh, which by the way, that classroom had a map uh, that was supposed to be of the contemporary US and it still had, or of the contemporary world and it still had the Soviet Union on it, so. Oof. Oh. Oof. Classic funding public in school, California pub public schools. Classic funding in See, I, all the US. I really. didn't get glasses till college, uh, but I remember that semester where I did because I'd always sit in the back of a, of the classroom because I was like, oh yeah, that's what the cool kids said. And then over the course of that semester, I just get closer and closer <laughs> and closer until like the last month I was up front and I still couldn't read anything. And I was like, well, I hope I get insurance <laughs> soon because I need some glasses. Yeah. We'd be in meetings in here in the office and you'd be like, I can't read anything yeah. on, <laughs> on the board in the meeting. <laughs> so this is to protect myself from Dracovish's Fischius Rend, which will get a strong jaw boost. Strong jaw is an ability that boosts the power of biting moves and Fischius Rend is considered a biting move. Um, it also increases in damage if Dracovish moves first, which it won't. Um, but I've increased my defense um, by two stages for Melodic and Durant by this stage. So I should be able to just proceed from here. I have Sylveon in the back too. That's one of those fossil Pokemon, isn't it? Because it looks like it might be. Yeah, I'm just gonna, even though it's not very effective, I'm gonna use Steel Spike to finish boosting my defense. <laughs> I love him so much. It's Comrade Dracovich. Oh, oh man, it's the only joke I got with him. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so he shouldn't exist, <laughs> and I love him. Them, I don't think they even have a gender. I, so if you don't know the Pokemon's gender, you usually just say it instead of them. It. Um, that has been standard since. Good to know. That has been standard since. Huh. That's a special attack, whereas. Dracovish is a physical attacker. Um, but yeah, that's been standard since the beginning of Pokemon is you just call Pokemon it. Um, yeah. Samson oh. says, <gasps> yikes. Oh. There's like a 30% chance of that happening. So <laughs> Samson says, uh, Kali should have your own Pokemon channel, Professor Kali. I actually bought a lab coat when we were going to shoot on camera stuff for the competitive Pokemon video. Okay, good game, Anthony. Um, All right, so uh, Ryan Miller in the chat has been like talking of a big game for a while. Ooh. So I really like, they claim they've been fighting other people and have also been undefeated. So they Ooh. really want to challenge you. So I, okay. if, if everyone else in the chat is cool, I'd really like for that to happen. Okay. That's our last game. So let's, for the last game, Honor system, please let what's the uh, Ryan name? Miller? Ryan Miller, please let Ryan Miller join because if Ryan Miller is out here talking smack, I would really like to challenge them. Maybe maybe give it a couple seconds just I, I will. Uh, I will. So the the stream can catch up. Oh, they say they're in a battle right now. <gasps> oh, Can't no. believe this. 
Well, is the battle close to being done? If it's not, then might have we'll to have to move on, and yeah. we'll try and get you next time. But there'll, there'll be other times. We there'll be other Pokemon. times. Well, I'm, there's yeah. no way this will be the last time we do this. I'm just gonna give it. I'm just gonna give it a second. Um, some more on uh, glasses. They said they just started, so unfortunately, oh. it'll have to be next time. Next time. Um, my dad had to get glasses just to play Call of Duty. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if it improved his KD. <laughs> he doesn't use them for literally anything else. <laughs> he doesn't even use them to watch TV. He just uses them. Like, oh, here he is. Set boy. Let's go. What a He's dapper a gentleman. Set boy. <laughs> oh. Have you guys seen that Vine? Hot boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hope that their team is just four Snorlaxes. It, that's legally can't happen, but... Some somehow, some way. <laughs> one Snorlax. One one Snorlax. Just one. All right, fat boy. The gentleman. I wonder what song we're gonna get. Sometimes I get the like uh Zashin and Zombacenta song that's like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I still think even with the the Toby Fox song, my favorite one is the one where you fight your rival because it's got a lot of like old theme throwbacks in it. Oh, that's that a really, really like upbeat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just really don't like the era of the horn music in Pokemon, and I. Which era was that? That was Owen. Oh, okay. It's just all just like. <laughs> <laughs> So, not as bad as that Resident Evil song, but... <laughs> yeah. What, what is it? Resident Evil 3? 1. It's oh, the, it's Resident it's, Evil it's 1. The, the, bomb, it's bomb, the bomb, director's bomb, cut yeah. of 1. <laughs> the, the director's cut music in the first oh. Resident Evil. Oh, uh, not great. Oh. Okay, so... Some of it's actually okay. Yeah. It's just that one. Oh, oh Sir Fetched. Fatboy here has um, Aegislash... Which scares me. Aegislash has Wide Guard. Uh, wide Guard protects the opposing team from multi target moves, which includes my Muddy Water, Snarl, uh, Rock Slide, Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice. Um, so I am not. Uh, and Aegislash often has a weakness policy, so it can be hard to take down. Um, you have to predict when it's going to attack and switch to uh, its uh, blade form, um, which is the attacking form, and its defense is lowered in that form. Um, so I think I'm going to do this lead and then I'm going to have my cleanup crew in the back. I'm enjoying, uh, the variety we're getting. Yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. different teams we're fighting. That's why it's, it's good that there's no legendaries allowed because then it would just be legendaries, right Kelly? <laughs> I really hate when they allow legendaries. That was, uh, you saw so many mirror teams in that. Oh, I like that too. Yeah, <laughs> that boy. I like it. Oh, that's great. Um, you saw a lot of like Kyogre versus Groudon versus Rayquaza teams, and I just was so sick oh. of it. He's got the ska pants on too. Oh, dang. No, put Toxtricity is a good shiny. Yeah, yeah. That's good shiny. Uh, also be good for Smash. I think they Toxtricity would be, be a good one for yeah. Smash, actually. I could I could see that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I could see that. I could see that, too. Dun, 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 dun. I just feel like it's going to have to be one of the uh, the starters. It's like the safer bet, but... The starters are a legendary. Right. But, I mean, I guess, like, they put in um, Lucario. Lucario is just a... Like, it was a special Pokemon, right? Because didn't the creator of... Isn't there some cool thing about who designed Lucario or something? Huh? Never mind. I thought, with, I thought for some... Uh, Greninja, a Wait, lot sorry, of the... what were you saying? Sorry, I was... No, I didn't Dynamax. Oh. Oh, I distracted you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, what were you asking me? Uh, Isn't Lucario... Wasn't it made by the original... Like, that design was created by the original creator? I don't... I have no idea. I just remember Lucario had a movie. There you go. Uh, I know that... This that was such a bad turn. I'm so upset. Uh, a lot of the design stuff for Greninja came from Smash before it got into Pokemon. Like, the, oh yeah, the Water Shuriken was a thing that they made for Smash and they put into Pokemon because of it. 
I think oh, I remember you telling that's me that. That's interesting. Yeah. Pretty cool. Greg Ninja. Good old Greg Ninja. I was telling you that Golurk is in this game because it was created by a British designer. Uh, okay. That's something that I did say. Apparently, Lucario's English voice actor was uh, the same voice of Goku. Oh. Fun fact. Really? <laughs> I guess so. Sean Schimmel? I, apparently. That's what Errol's saying. Errol would know. Okay, I hope this just... Because it's still in blade form. Okay, thank God. That Aegis Lash was going to give me so much trouble. And that increases defense, but that's not what I... Or special defense, which is nice because I was... I tried to use Steel Spike the first turn when I was trying to Dynamax because uh, I wanted to increase my defense against Aegislash. In this case, I'm glad that I have that special defense boost because uh, Toxtricity is a special attacker, so. But then we have Cinderace, so, you know. I, Helping Hand Durant is just unstoppable, really. So Cinderace is my bigger threat. Island Life yeah. says after the stream, I'm using uh, Durant from now on. <laughs> so, Ken Sugimori, uh, and he's credited for the. Sugimori is the artist. He's best known artist. as the character designer yeah. and art director for the Pokemon franchise and designed the first 151 Pokemon. That's what I was talking about. So, I think that's a little bit misleading because Sugimori did the like uh, watercolor art, but there are multiple people who designed the sprites. Yeah, sure, and the concept, sure, sure. So. I mean, I'm not trying to correct you. I'm just explaining it for people. I've uh, been really enjoying. There's that one. There's a couple. There's like some Twitter accounts that I've been kind of like talking about like older Pokemon designs and like changes. Uh, Doctor Lava's Lost Pokemon. Yes. That is a great Twitter account. I've been really, because uh, because I, I knew that like there's differences in the sprite art uh, compared to like the original Japanese release and the American release, but I I didn't I wasn't aware of a lot of those changes. So it's been really cool following that Twitter account and seeing like how they kind of changed and evolved them over time and improved the the designs. Mm -hmm. I think that's neat. Another way you could counter, by the way, is um, you could counter the helping hand with taunt. You could taunt Gothitelle and then Gothitelle wouldn't be able to use any supporting moves. Taunt makes the Pokemon use only attacking moves. So it's really damaging for support of Pokemon and it would render Gothitelle kind of uh, not as helpful. So there's plenty of ways to counter Durant. I really don't want people to think like Durant mm. is so OP and right. uh, this is really unfair. I do want to give people like tips on how to counter this Pokemon. Um, so I would definitely, if you see this combination, I would use Taunt. Um, Pokemon that can learn Taunt include Obstagoon, um, Grimmsnarl, Whimsicott. Grimmsnarl and Whimsicott both have Prankster, which gives them extra priority for those moves. Um, you could Intimidate it, you could Burn it. Uh, you, I think one thing is uh, Dragapult is gonna be faster than Durant. Um, Dragapult can learn Thunder Wave, which will slow it down, which gives you more room um, in the, the coming turns to counter it. So there's um, all sorts of things you could do. I'm glad I recovered from that. I was so, so <laughs> worried after that turn, after I screwed up that turn. It's really annoying because you can click Dynamax and then if you want to back up, it reverts to not Dynamax. And so you have to re-click Dynamax. Uh -huh. So that's just something to be aware of too. All right, well, I think that is going to call it. Yeah, good game, fat boy. Right yeah, yeah. Sorry to everybody that we didn't get to uh, battle, but I guarantee we'll do this again at some point. Oh yeah. Um, let me, before we oh, go yes. away, let me show everybody the, um, the team code if you want to download this oh, team. Oh, yes. Called Goth Control. So the way you can rent teams, you go to Battle Stadium in the versus mode, you go to rental teams, and then you can manage teams you're renting or manage teams to share. That's how you upload your own teams. So I'm just going to use this as a, uh, gonna check it and then you can see the team. So this is a full layout of this person's team with the download code so you can rent it yourself. And then um, all the Pokemon's held items, their abilities, and their moves. The only thing it doesn't include is their nature. 
Um, but you can do that just by going into the battle tower and checking their summaries. Which is what I do when I rent a team. I check their summaries and then I go, okay, so that's what the EV spread is. That's what the nature is. And then I can copy it. Um, so that's, that's just cool. a little shortcut. A lot of people uh, do that and, and kind of take inspiration from each other's teams. So I hope that this inspires you to play and doesn't discourage you from playing because you can defeat the ant. Um, that's all I got. Awesome. Thank you for battling me. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going <laughs> to... Good stuff. Cool. I'm going to head in the back and... Uh... Get ready to close this out. Right now. All right. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll just yeah. sit here. Would, would you like to? Would you like to close it out? It's all you, Ben. It's, this is your. Oh, okay. All show. right. We're just guests. Well, thank you everyone for joining us uh, again on this wonderful Friday. Uh, hope you had a good time because we certainly did. And uh, I want to thank you guys for for coming on and Callie for your wonderful Pokemon expertise. Uh, and yeah, undefeated champion. Wiping the floor with everyone. <laughs> Uh, and Jake also for coming along and make some jokes. Out. Yeah, <laughs> this is a very good time. And John Luke for running back and forth and making sure the stream works and also hanging out and doing the thing he does. Uh, but yeah, uh, anything you guys want to say before we go? Um, uh, end of the month. Uh, be on the lookout for this video series. If you if you enjoyed watching that and you want to give competitive Pokemon a stab, I mean there are tons of resources out there. Uh, but the video we're working on, the videos we're working on, should hopefully like lay everything on the floor and like make it very clean we're trying to make it the most accessible and uh like compact introduction that's why the first episode on how stats work is only eight minutes so um just trying to give you a good foundation yeah i should have been looking at that camera but it's it's okay. Okay. i get so confused cameras. all the time i get super lost but anyway here here there i am again so yeah i hope that you look forward to it yeah that's all I got. Sweet. Good times. We'll see you later, everyone. Have a good weekend. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. Play Yakuza. Play Danganronpa. Play Danganronpa. Play Pokemon. CNPSO2. And it, Jean-Luc. Kill it.